How you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about SWS extensions, which are extensions that work with Reaper. Now, they're not part of Reaper. They're an add-on that works with it, and they're made by a few very generous people who have their own separate company. Now, to get the SWS extensions, we're going to go to their website at standingwaterstudios.com, which is what SWS stands for, Standing Water Studios. So we're going to go over here to installation, and down here, is where you download the extensions for Windows or for Mac. The instructions are over here for Windows and for Mac, and they're pretty simple to follow, but you should quit Reaper before installing them. The next most important thing to do, and I can't stress this enough, is this button right down here, donate. Now the guys that created these extensions do it for free. It's called open source, which means you don't have to pay to use it. But I really recommend, and I can't stress this enough, Please donate something to them, whether it be $10 or $20, just donate something. It allows them to keep doing great work and updating these extensions as needed, so that they'll always work with Reaper as Reaper gets updated. So if you find these extensions useful, and I know that you will after watching these tutorials, please donate generously. So now I can go back to Reaper, and if you notice, up here in the menus, there's a whole new menu called Extensions. And this is where the SWS extensions are. We'll go through all this a little bit later. Now these tutorials are designed to show you how to get the most out of the SWS extensions, showing you what each one does and giving you examples of how to use them to make your workflow simpler and more customized. But what these tutorials are not are a guide to learning the basics of Reaper. I'm assuming that you already know that. Now it doesn't mean that these tutorials are just for advanced users, because they're not. Most of what we'll be doing is just making routine tasks even easier and giving us more options. But most of these tasks are everyday tasks, not just for tweakers. Now, before we dive into the SWS extensions, there's something basic I want to go over in Reaper, and that's using actions. Go to the actions menu, choose show action list, and these are all the actions in Reaper. And as you can tell, there's thousands of them, way too many to go over. And now that we've added the SWS extensions, there's even more. These are just the SWS actions, and there's lots of them too. So the thing I want to show you here is the different ways we can perform actions in Reaper. One of them is right from this window. So if I type in something like solo, these are all the solo actions in Reaper. And if I wanted to do something like item properties toggle solo, I could do it right from this window. I could select this media item here, then hit run. And that item is soloed. Everything else is muted. Hit it again because it's toggle solo. And it undoes that. So if I wanted to solo this drum loop, just hit this. I can hit play over here. And I just hear that MIDI item. Undo it or hit it again. I can then hear the whole song again because it's not soloed. So that's one way of performing an action. But it's not the most convenient way. You have to open this dialog, type in solo, and then find the one you want, and then hit run. A better way of doing it is using keystrokes. So you can go right here, add a keystroke. I'm going to type in slash, because I'm not using it for anything else. And it doesn't matter which one you choose. Any keystroke will work. Hit OK. Now I can close this. Just choose any media item. Hit that keystroke and it solves it. Hit it again, unsolves it. Do the same for the bass. Hit it again, unsolves it. So as you can see, it's much quicker with a keystroke. And we could also use menus to trigger actions. If we go to Options, Customize Menus, we can go down to our main item menu, which is basically this one right here, and we can customize it. So we can go to the bottom, add a separator right there, then add an action. Type in solo, and it's right there. Select and close it. Let's move it to the bottom, underneath our separator, and we can even rename it. Solo item. And save and close this. And now it appears in our item menu. 
right down here, sole item. So I could choose a synth again, go to the menu, sole item, and sold. And to unsole it, just hit it again. And we could also use the contextual menu to select it. Go back to options, customize menus, and instead of using the main item menu, we could choose media item context. And this time I'm going to put it at the top. I'll add a separator again and an action. Choose this again, select and close, rename it, save and close this. And now we could right click an item, like the drum loop here, and choose solo item. Hit it again, right click it, undo that. Do it with our effects drop. So it, right click it, unsew it. So we can customize our menus to perform any action we want. And we could also put any action in our toolbar over here. Right click over here, go to customize toolbar. Let's delete a bunch I don't use, just remove them. And let's add a new one. Let's put it down at the bottom. Give it a different icon. Type in solo. We'll choose this one. Becomes this icon right here. Hit save and close it. And our toolbar changes to have a solo item icon. So now I could choose this drum loop, click it over here, and it's solved. Hit it again, unsolo it, do the same with the base. Unsole it, back to normal. And what's cool about making it a toolbar button, we could right click it and it becomes a smart tool. See how it's lit up? Now we can just click on any media item and that item will be soloed. Click on this one. Click it again, turns it off. Click on this one. Click it again, turns it off. Do the same with the effects drop. So you can quickly sew one media item at a time by using the smart tool. Just right click it, turn it off or on. Drum loop, this drum loop, bass, synth, pretty cool. Anyway, I just wanted to show you how you can trigger actions in Reaper because throughout this tutorial, I'm probably gonna just use keystrokes. Just know that you could also use menu items or toolbar buttons to do the same thing. It's all customizable. So that's pretty much it for the basics. Next, we're going to get into zooming with the SWS extensions.